Stan is probably Eminem's uh, greatest record, right? Arguably, hands down, probably Eminem, Eminem's greatest record. Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we have some interesting topics to cover as if you've ever wanted to see a top tier lyricist break down a song from another top tier lyricist well MIT made it happen a few hours ago as visiting scholar Lupe Fiasco gave a lecture recently on rap theory and practice that included the breakdown of Eminem Stan among others and we'll be exploring some of his takes on the song including some reactions from fans on social media in a bit. Today we also have another 2023 teaser from Royce the 59 who shared this a few hours ago on IG. 2020 changed me, 2021 broke me, 2022 opened my eyes, 2023 I'm coming back. And I believe this user speaks for everyone, better come with an album. And moving on to the main topic today, Lupe Fiasco in his breakdown of iconic storytelling songs in hip hop also focused on Stan and in his opinion it is probably Eminem's greatest song. Stan is probably Eminem's uh greatest record, right? Arguably, hands down, probably Eminem, Eminem's greatest record. It's where we get the word stand from, right? Anybody got any stands in here? In his lecture, he spoke on how Eminem captured Stan's progression in his writing from somewhat reasonable in his first verse before he goes all out mental in the third. Dear Marshall, right? He writes a letter in the first verse. And the second verse, another letter to Eminem. This one's a little bit more kind of aggressive, you know, a little bit more, you know, you owe me something type vibe. And he does the third verse. Third verse isn't a letter per se, it's a recording. And this Stan, this fan of Eminem, he's recording himself kidnapping in true Eminem fashion this guy. Um, his, uh, his girlfriend. Eminem Stan made it into the dictionary and today has created an entire quote ecosystem on social media, especially on platforms like Twitter, where there's a whole battleground featuring thousands of users on a daily basis called Stan Twitter. And it's extended to more than just music factions, to various forms of entertainment slash sports. Think Marvel stands versus DC stands, Ronaldo versus Messi stands, and more. And Lupe Fiasco spoke on the impact of the song that he described as one that showcases the power of rap. The layering and the complexity, right, of how he worked, right, that repetition break, repetition plot break structure, right, masterful. And then the argument becomes, Stan is one of the highest selling records of all time in any genre of music, right? To the point where the name of the song entered into common vernacular. The power of rap. Lupe has always had huge respect for Eminem, and in the past he even joked one time. I'm feeling better than Eminem, and I feel better. I'm just joking. I can't fuck with Eminem. But I got everybody else coming. And a while back, Stan made Ghostface Killer's top four greatest storytelling songs in hip hop of all time. And heading to social media, on Twitter for instance, some have reacted to Lupe's breakdown with one of the greatest pieces of music ever created. Even the music video is a true masterpiece, as visually you can see Stan's appearance go from better to worse from verse 1 to the cycle look in verse 3, and according to the OG Stan, 20 plus years and still nobody's made a better video than Stan. They've tried, they've all tried, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up in the dictionary. But heading back to Lupe's lecture, not everyone is impressed, the user reacts. Is this what the cost of an MIT education gets you? That sounds like a conversation I'd have with a friend or on the internet. To which a user responds, imagine being taught about hip hop slash rap by a legendary artist and having this take, laughing emoji, what more do you want? Can't please everyone, eh? And I'd like to take this moment to thank you guys for another great year on this channel. We have hundreds of users have conversations on their videos on a daily basis about rap. It's become like a family get together at the start or end of the day, depending on where you reside. So thanks for watching. The support is very much appreciated and see you in 2023. Perhaps the year of diamond certifications for 50 cent and perhaps MMLP3 if we get lucky.